Hello YouTube, what's up? Welcome to my channel Anonymous Revealer. This video is about the installation of Lenovo One Key Recovery. As all the Lenovo laptops users know that Lenovo laptops comes with a Nova button in today's market. Well, the Nova button is very useful as it helps in recovering your system and hence flashes the company firmware which was installed on your system when you first bought it. In my case, what happened was I bought a Lenovo laptop with Windows 10 Home in it. Due to some reasons, I formatted the whole hard disk drive and as a result, my one key recovery got corrupted. I searched on all the sites but there was no one key recovery with Windows 10 alternative. At most I got was one key recovery installation with Windows 8 and moreover since I got my laptop with Windows 10. So I would not prefer installing Windows 8 with one key recovery. So. Second pen drive which I told you that we need it that will be used to boot the system for the Windows 10 operating system okay so for that you need an a software known as refuse okay uh, well the download uh, link I will provide you in my description so it looks like uh, someone the icon looks like this Okay, so see my pen drive is showing here. Yeah, you need to press, uh, choose option. Uh, since after OKR, one key recovery engineering DVD installation, your hard disk will become GPT. Okay, MBR will no longer support. You can Google it the difference between GPT and MBR. So select GPT GPT partition scheme for UEFI for the target system type. Okay, then you need to browse your Windows 10 setup.
Now making the bootable installation disk of the Windows 10 DVD is also over. So now you need to restart your system. Okay. And boot the system in legacy mode. And use your first pen drive that is that one key engineering DVD to boot into system. So let's see what happens now. Well, uh, now my system is booted with the Lenovo One Key Engineering DVD. Uh, you can see that it's loading. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, here you will find everything in Chinese but don't panic you just need to check this dialog box and then you need to click on this button okay so here it's doing its own work you can also use Google translator and take a snapshot of this thing and also know what it is written Yeah, all done. You can see this dialog box. It means that the installation of the one key recovery engineering DVD is successful. Now you need to boot into your system and don't forget to change that boot uh, menu from in boot menu that legacy mode to UEFI mode because once the one key recovery has been installed, your motherboard will only support UEFI booting from for the Windows. Now you need to put your second uh, USB drive that is the Windows 10 installation disk which we created with Rufus into your system and boot from it. As you can see that uh, we are in the boot mode and my Windows installation is booting. So let's see. This process I am showing you in virtual machine as I have already installed my Windows in, in my laptop so from here i will show you in my virtual machine and the last part again i will show you the real one so since vmware supports mbr partition it does not support gpt so here i can only show you till the partition level so here as we know the normal installation begins next now i will click on install now you this is in VMware and VMware does not support GPT partition at least for my version it is not supporting so see what happens when I create here the new partition I have created okay now see here you can see there is an exclamation mark windows can't be installed on drive 0 partition 5 you can see at the end so why 
see the reason is the selected disk is of the gpt partition style so i need to create that installation media of gpt partition type so don't worry uh, the pen drive which we have created for installation media that is of gpt type you won't get this as you can see it has come so i will be giving you some of the commands you need to write those commands here step by step i will not write here i will write it in a notepad because i have already gone through the process okay so now i will open a notepad and write the steps just follow them Uh, let me number the steps or else may you may be in confusion so first you need to write disk part the second after disk part you need to write is list volumes okay there will be no s in volume you need to just write list volume okay then disk where you have installed the windows okay now there you need to find the disk labeled with pbr underscore drv okay you just need to remember the letter of the drive pbr underscore drv okay because we need that in the next step first of all when you know the drive third step is you need to exit disk part okay since you have opened disk part you need to exit this part this part is only concerned with volumes the fourth part is you need to see so i got h as the drive letter for that pbr drv your drive letter may change okay so according to your drive letter you need to go to that drive okay then you press enter and your fifth command will be cd space one key backslash Uh, OS image okay 
so your fifth command is cd space one key backslash os image you need to press enter after this okay please go through by the steps don't skip anyone either you will face a problem so the sixth command you need to type is os image space front slash n o p b r okay after this it will take time then you need to give the seventh command that is os image space slash f b don't worry your image will not be uploaded to fb oh, this was just a joke so after pressing that you need to press enter and the eighth step is exit so this step will take a little time the seventh step os image space front slash fb as because your os will be the c drive means the where you have installed your windows will be cloned in the pbr drive okay then at the 8th step you need to type exit and your Lenovo one key recovery is fully set up whenever you have mishandled with the operating system files or anything you have corrupted your windows 10 no problem just press the Lenovo one key recovery button or the Nova button and you are done